putt. Goddamn, get it done with ya. Woo. When the blow up now, everybody's so unusual with it. Shit. But said times in his rhymes, cause his memories. We run into New York. Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna be talking about how to recharge your BMW key. Now, as many of you guys know, you both get two keys with your BMW and a lot of you are not aware how your keys actually recharge. And especially on the BMW E60 and E90 with the cassette fob. So I'm gonna be training you and showing you how you do that and what you must do to make sure your keys are recharged. I'm gonna show you how to charge them. So as you see here, this is the E60 and it's not really a complicated car to be able to recharge the fobs inside the remote. So if we go over to here now, you guys will see the handles. Mine doesn't have keyless entry. Now a lot of you will have the ribs on top of there. A lot of you guys know what is called the comfort access. Basically you could go near the car and pull the handle and it will open the car up immediately and unlock the car. And that's the same for locking, you'll touch the ribs to end up putting the locks down. This one doesn't have that, but I know it's a common feature in the US and on a lot of cars here as well, on the 335Is and a lot of the E60s have it. And a lot of you, you just use it so much that you end up leaving the fob in your pocket and then the fob ends up running down and going and just going dead so what you need to do to recharge your fob is you would need to go inside your car and you would need to put the key into the ignition so inside the cassette here as you guys probably know these have a magnetic coil the same as they do on e39 e46 to recharge these keys you need to put them inside the cassette to recharge them and for that to happen you need to least drive and keep using the key continuously for a few days now what a lot of people do is never use the second key at home so when they get their second key they'll realize that it's dead and it's not functioning properly it's not unlocking the doors it's not doing anything it's also um not working as it should be like their first one and that's because you've left it for so long the key isn't charged so my best advice is if you have two keys or even three keys for the car to be switching them and using all three of them at least once a week so they all recharge and keep functioning as intending because what happens is if you leave them for too long the battery inside will just go dead and flatten and they won't recharge now the keys are meant to go dead and then fully recharge because you don't want to keep overcharging using the same key and recharging the battery because that just kills the cells and then you need a new battery the battery is built onto the board on these as many of you guys know and yes i do change them and i've changed all mine for new batteries because they were completely finished when i got the car but that's not the case for everybody a lot of people have come for excess come to me saying their key for battery is going dead you can also change the batteries on that but that's not the case all the time either you can easily just recharge them by putting them in and driving them around 50 miles a day less depending on your journey even if you're going 10 minutes 50 minutes the remote should charge and you'll be able to use it again but if the battery's not holding charge you'll know that because the charge won't be full and when you get out you'll also notice that your remote's gone completely flat after just leaving it for like half an hour which means the battery's not holding charge inside the remote which then means you'll need a new battery so now i know a lot of you guys are going to sit now ask me what can you do if your battery's dead inside these kind of remotes that you can't open or your car doesn't have comfort access? So the question to that is, I'm gonna be doing a video showing you how to replace the battery inside these ones that are actually sealed in these sealed cases and how you can change them over to open cases that you'll be able to open it all the time. I'm also gonna show you how to change the battery on the board itself as well. That's gonna be coming up in another video. I know it's been very, very highly requested, so I'm gonna be showing a lot of you guys how you can actually do that on your remote key. So I know a lot of you end up with them going dead and it's something that's very well needed on the E60. Otherwise, you have to use the blade inside to be able to open your door locks. So please stay tuned for that one coming up as well. So I hope now that's gonna to clear up a lot of subjects for you a lot of you guys who keep asking me how your bmw key fob ends up recharging you guys know a lot of people don't really put out videos regarding this key because a lot of people don't understand how this one works secondly a lot of people only function on the e46 e39 keys the diamond keys that's how they tell you how they charge so i'm now showing you how these keys actually recharge and it's actually the same as it is on the e46 and e39 because on the diamond key the battery is actually soldered to the board, so you have to desolder from the board to actually fit a new one. As I said, that's gonna be a video that I've got coming up, especially on this key right here, because as you guys now specialize mostly in this kind of car, not so much the E46 and E39. And for all the people that keep asking me if I do still have the E46, the answer to that is no, the car's gone. It was scrapped, I no longer need it. I made my money back from the channel on here. I made more than the car would ever have even sold for from the E46, so therefore it was no longer needed. I know a lot of you are gonna be angry with me about that, but no, don't even worry about it because I have got another car that is going to be coming to the channel to replace the E46 from that era as well. And that's the whole reason why that car's gone. So a lot of you guys who are E46, make sure you stick around because it's going to apply to you as well on the same car I'm actually getting for this channel. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I hope this is going to clear up a lot of the things regarding this exact key. And like I said, we are going to be doing a video on how to replace the battery and how to open the fobs that are actually sealed and how to replace them. So thank you very much for watching. It's BMW Dr. Dean here, and goodbye.